this is Scotland right now, mm. but you'd have to be a dill to think this is not going to come to the rest of the world. If it is a hate crime to make a comment like that or to supposedly incite hatred... And, yeah. and, and again, we talked last night about hate crimes and, and hate speech, right? It's one thing to incite violence. It's one thing to incite some sort of physical damage to someone. It's one thing to reveal what their address is and whatever and encourage people to go around and knock on their door and harass their family. But words are simply words. And when you start saying this is a hate crime to utter certain words, you can start with certain things that you we might all agree are pretty awful and you probably shouldn't say them, but then that leads to that, and then that, yeah. and then that. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it's a hate crime to say you don't like ice cream. I would follow this woman into battle. Like, seriously. She is fearless. And she rightfully, repeatedly points out free speech is dead. It's yeah. gone and buried if people cannot accurately talk <clears throat> about the practicalities of biological <clears throat> sex and call it as it is. This person is a biological male, this person is a biological female. Those, those tweets that you were just reading out were actually one of 11. She posted them in a thread. All trans activists, all uh, those who had been convicted of really heinous crimes, but all called women by the media in Scotland. And she's also made famous the hashtag, these are not our crimes, our being women's crimes. Why are you saying that these have been committed by women? Also pointed out how that skews the crime statistics yeah. in, in terms of blaming things on, on women that have been committed mm. by biological males. I absolutely love it when one of these people with the clout mm. is literally taunting the lawmakers, mm. saying, OK, these hate speech laws have just come into effect. I'm going to set a precedent straight off the bat. Come and get me. Because, again, this will set such an important precedent because for future years, while these laws are in place, others can be like, well, you didn't prosecute mm, right. J.K. Rowling right. and she still says what a woman is. But what is frightening is for the everyday person, yeah. for you and I, that's out of the question. Yeah. When we look at the injustices like Musk defending free speech, that's great. He's got the money to do it. Mm. 